palette for us. Welcome to your intuitive reading. Okay, I hope you've been enjoying your bonuses. If not, um, check them out. I think there's some very valuable messages um, in there. This is actually my third attempt to do a reading <laughs> um, for Taurus because the messages that have been coming out have been a little divided, uh, just a little bit all over the place. So let's see what comes out this time. All right, Taurus. Spirit, tell me more about what Taurus needs to know. What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? The magician. That's beautiful. This is telling me that you're on the path of manifestation. You're manifesting, you're making something happen you're using the law of attraction, possibly, you know, the power of your thought, affirmations. Let's find out a little bit more. Tell me more about the magician. What is Taurus trying to manifest here? What is Taurus manifesting? What is Taurus placing their intention towards? What is Taurus manifesting? Thank you. So we're moving from the Five of Pentacles. My goodness. Challenging cards. Um, Seven of Swords. You've been left out as someone who was getting away with something. A third party situation, Taurus. Okay, and they got away with it too. Okay, and you're coming up as the Empress. A beautiful divine being okay which we all are okay and you're coming across as that someone that needs to be raised up someone very loving and caring and nurturing and giving that um really needs to be raised up son of cups perhaps this person has come back um with an apology or somebody else has you know okay so you've been through this and someone else, uh, there is some kind of new love, okay, and it's making, maybe you're thinking a lot about this now, you're thinking a lot about this, tell me more about this for Taurus, tell me more about this for Taurus, tell me more about the Son of Cups, what is the Son of Cups for Taurus? Son of Cups is kind of... <laughs> Not a match for the Empress. The Empress needs the Emperor. Not a Son of Cups. Spirit. Son of Cups is the Knight of Cups coming in to make an offer of love. And the Nine of Cups. And this is kind of a wish come true for you too. We've got uh, King of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Someone making a pretty heavy duty decision on something that's long lasting. Queen of Swords is cutting out Daughter of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so this was cut out. So there was somebody that wanted something long-lasting with you. And then someone actually, maybe their counterpart, cut it out. So this was a third party. And so that ended with a conflict. And now you found new love. You're falling in love with something else, someone else. So this Son of Cups, this new love that's being offered to you is actually a wish come true. Alright, Son of Swords, um, Six of Wands. And this is this someone coming, rushing in. Alright, recognising you, saying, Taurus, you're, you're amazing, you're fantastic, gorgeous, amazing. And um, making their intentions very clear. Alright, so they're really into you. And you're thinking, will this work out? You've got options. Um, you're just maybe even a little bit confused. Should I, shouldn't I? Okay, messaging. The messaging is really about stability and security. This person does want to offer security towards you. And this new beginning is going to be a life-changing event. 
a life changer this one tell me more about this daughter of cups uh -huh. four of, four of, but somebody in the background is holding on to you okay um, and they really want to apologize or they want to come back all right tell me more about this spirit and so really it's going to be tricky for you spirit tell me more about this for Taurus and of swords yeah because you're going to be you're going to have anxiety because you don't want to show how you feel you know and I think that you're a well of emotion regarding this but you don't really want to show how you feel so it's giving you anxiety you don't want to show that you're feeling anxious you're suppressing this emotion okay um, because you're feeling unbalanced eight of swords and you're not sure what to do you're not sure spirit tell me more yeah so you'd rather stay independent than have your heart broken again you, you'd rather establish yourself than be heartbroken again spirit tell me a little bit more about this tell me a little bit more about this for Taurus and so you're emotionally detached all right but you do have this beautiful new love trying to come in but yeah you've been so traumatized and heartbroken that you're not really open to it you'd rather stay independent and on your own than to be heartbroken like that again spirit tell me more for Taurus Give me more guidance for Taurus. Could be online love. Alright, for some of you that you feel a strong connection with and would like to make new beginnings. And is healing. Tell me more about this for Taurus. Tell me more about this. Okay, so we have a lucky find, quick find. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. And we have, this is love. Ah, uh, my goodness, spirit, tell me more, for Taurus. So we're masking again some kind of burden. We're not letting on about some kind of stress. Tell me more about this burden. What is this burden that Taurus is masking? What is this burden that Taurus is masking? What is this burden? All right, so we've got messages. All right, sneaky messages though. And there's an inner compass that is pulling us towards that and that's what we want to push towards. Why is there sneaky messages? <laughs> Makes no sense. Tell me about the fox. What is the fox? What is the fox? Maybe we need to be wily. We're taking a risk and a chance. Maybe this is not you. Tell me more about this. And this is somebody that's a mentor and a guide going around and around a labyrinth trying to figure out a way. Alright. Talking about distance, so you're going somewhere, Taurus. Emotionally, okay. Um, having emotional chats, very emotional. Overseeing the bigger picture trying to gain clarity okay looking deeper into a situation that is long lasting that is very grounded and rooted looking deeper into this will this last and there is divine feminine that is being offered a commitment only a commitment offered to the divine feminine Wow, that's tricky. Um, Taurus, you got to let me know how that resonates. Let me get some more cards out. Spirit, do you have anything to say to Taurus? What is going to happen this week for Taurus? What is going to happen? 
gamble again. You got the chance. Taking a risk. Jumping in with two feet. No. Why is the answer no to this gamble? Ah. Commitment. No to a commitment. We're not going to commit just to a, a gamble. Alrighty. <laughs> Why did the cards come out then? So maybe you're going to present it, be pre presented with an opportunity and you're going to say no because you've got a prior commitment. Alrighty. Tell me more about this for Taurus. Tell me more about this for Taurus. Tell me more about this for Taurus. Question. Cleansing. Searching for the truth. Searching for answers. Trusting the answers will come. Innocence, clarity, belief, honesty and truth. And this is about cleansing, refreshing, rainbow and freedom. Alright, so I really feel that this is about you asking a question and receiving an answer that is true and honest. All right, and this is going to be very refreshing to you. This is going to be so nice that someone just gave you the truth. Tell me more about this. What is the question? What is the question regarding? It's about release and healing. So this question, and you're going to receive a true and honest answer is going to be very very refreshing and cleansing and you're going to be able to release that and heal and move on okay this week you're going to be able to move on from a situation and you're not going to take a chance with somebody because you've got another commitment you've got something else going on spirit tell me more about this for Taurus enemy is waiting because you've been waiting too long for this person hoping and praying and waiting constantly constantly waiting all right and so you decided that you've got to end this and um yeah the house is the problem maybe there's distance involved tell me more about this Consolation money is the gift. Maybe they're going to give you something, a gift. Tell me more about this for Taurus. This despair? Why? Why is despair here? Joyfulness. Tell me more about this. This is what you're thinking. Um, maybe you've been loyal for a really long time. Um, needing to heal and move on to a new beginning and um, to, to really take care of yourself and your life move forward in your own life Taurus okay and take care of yourself but I think you're going to be leaving someone behind and they're going to be really sad but you're going to be feeling a lot better to have released the situation that is no longer serving you. Yeah. So, yeah. Alrighty. Let me know how this intuitive reading um, resonated with you and how it made sense. And um, I know it's kind of a little bit... I'm, try, I'm, I'm going to have to listen to it and see where it fits in my life. I'm a Taurus Sun and Mercury, so I'm interested to see in the playback how it's going to fit with me. And yeah, let me know, and I send you love, peace, and like always. Bye for now.